Glenn, we know that job seekers might spend one or two hours perfecting their resume for applying for a job. And I always tell my clients, customize your resume for each job you are sending. And we know that on the other side, recruiters have maybe between six or seven minutes to check a resume, to, to make a decision either they want to move forward or not. In that sense, what tips do you have for job seekers to customize their resume? Is there any technique and how they can overcome the applicant tracking system? Because sometimes I feel that if they don't use those keywords, their resume will not be reaching to the threshold. I, I was a, that is a perfect way to start. That's a, that's a great advice, that's a great tip. You wanna make sure that you do keyword search, mm -hmm. especially in an industry you're in. Yeah. That is key. So know what are the keywords. Uh, basically, if, if, it's, if you're in a designer, a marketing job, is designer um, a word that comes up? You yes. want to have that in your resume. Yes. Uh, in your resume, I would say that you want to make sure that you have a, what I call in, in, in this world, an elevator yes. um, pitch, which yes. primarily is just one or two paragraphs that just tell this um, I would say a recruiter or a computer that you're the best candidate for this job. And yes, you're right. Customize your resume for yeah. every job. And again, the easy way to do to customize this is to create a general version. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you keep that either in Google Docs or a Word document. And every time you see a job that you're applying for, customize it for that job, particular job. So I would I would just make that case to you. Customization is key, but it doesn't mean that you have to make it from the beginning every time. Yeah. Have a general resume and you're always changing that resume according to the job. But keywords, keyword search is the most important, um, I would say to you. If you know the keywords are words that a particular industry likes, and you can find these things with a Google search, right? Yes. You do a Google search, you can see all of these keywords and make sure you're using these keywords in your resume before you send them out and, and, and you will have improve your, your chances of the, at least getting that interview, which is what you want. Yeah, and I always, tell, I always tell my clients, have the job description, have the resume and compare, see, go line by line. Do you have the same word? If they're saying organizing events or if they're saying team player, or if they're saying coordinating, use the same words. And also there are a lot of applicant or softwares online that you can put the resume, put your job description, and they will tell you how much closed you are to that applicant tracking system. And they will help you to identify keywords. Yes, that's correct. That is correct. So all of those tools are very relevant and I'm very applicable for you to use. Yeah. The software, are... software online are my favorite. Uh, basically, I think it's a great way and a great way just to get your resume up and have some software compare it and tell you, okay, this is a match, a 90% match or so. Yeah. Those are great tips, Glenn. And I hope uh, the listeners will implement those tips for applying for their next job. Or if you have any other tips, then please leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with Glenn.